It's our 45th wedding anniversary, so we're going to take the bikes to Tassie and experience these fantastic roads. But we live a long way away, and so we've got to experience a bit of freeway riding first. And lots of stops along the way to stretch our old weary bones. But it's not all freeway as we head down off the freeway through Kangaroo Valley and then along the coast road heading south. This route's about 200k longer than going straight down the Hume Highway, but it's more interesting with little towns along the way to break up the monotony. And as it's the coast road, we cross inlets and rivers along the way, adding to the interest. After about 600k we reach my brother's place, just inland from Eden. We're going to have a lazy day at my brother and sister-in-law's tomorrow, before we move on down to Melbourne to the ferry the day after. And there's nothing like a bit of drone action to feel the serenity of the place. It's been particularly dry, not the usual lush green that it is down here and the smoke from the bushfires that have been burning right across New South Wales and Queensland are hanging in the sky. I always find it difficult transitioning from work to holidays and this day in between our travels really helps to just relax and chill out and do the tourist thing around the local town. So we take the dog for a run down the beach. It's time to hit the road again because we're heading for Melbourne and the ferry tonight. Evie the dog loves to run and this is a great excuse for her to speed up the road following the bikes. The Prince's Highway is well maintained around the southeast of Australia and these roads are really quite pleasant to ride on. It looks straight here but it is quite windy with wide open sweeping corners, travelling through the forest for most of the way. As we hit the southern end of Victoria, the rain starts and continues to get heavier and heavier as we ride in through Melbourne and to the ferry terminal. And we've found over the years it doesn't matter what sort of wet weather gear you wear, eventually the rain will get in if you ride in it long enough. As we park up waiting to board the ferry, the rain eases off. We relax at the local cafe. They've got heaters going so that we can take our wet weather gear off and dry out a little bit while sipping coffee and eating cake. What more could you want? 
boarding the ferry is a bit of a drawn out process, but it wasn't too bad and didn't take too long before we were able to ride up the ramp and into the ferry. There's nothing like an overseas trip to make you feel as though you're really on holidays and this really is going to be an adventure. The rain has stopped, the wind has dropped and everything is right with our world. I could say we can't wait to get there, but in fact we can. We're enjoying the journey. Tomorrow morning we'll arrive in Tassie and the real adventure will begin. But for now, it's time to chill and watch the sunset. <laughs>